What's going on guys, it's Rated here and welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be reviewing the NetDoomer R1 gaming route and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, if you do then leave a like down below, it would be greatly appreciated. Of course, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel already, make sure you guys do so. I'd just like to say I'm not sponsored by NetDoomer but they did send me out a free route to actually review for you guys as I do feel it would be very beneficial for many of you gamers, especially for the people who like to be on good connections and pretty much be dominating the games either on Call of Duty or CSGO or any game for the matter of fact but just before we get into it I'd like to say uh, if you guys want me to try and hook you guys up with a giveaway of this or maybe a raffle uh, leave a like down below if I do end up doing a raffle I will pick uh, one of you guys either from the comment section or over on Twitter uh, but just leave a like on the video if you do want to see that here on the channel and let's begin so right now I'm actually on my computer and as you guys can see by the gameplay right here uh, this is NetDoomer R1's interface uh, of the gaming router now the favorite thing that I actually enjoy the most is host filtering as you guys can see me doing right now I'm actually tweaking it to set the locations so it only uses uh, people around my area and it only connects me with the best servers as you guys can see me doing right now uh, I actually changed it so it's a very small circle and so my ping is going to be very low and every game that I'm connected to is going to have a low ping as well so as you guys can see me doing right now I actually join the game and it shows me on the mini map that the net doomer provides you with is actually the location and what server I have been connected to as you guys can see on screen right now it actually shows me my ping on the net doomer r1 interface as well as in game through the black ops 3 menu uh, but this is very useful for you guys who actually want to go ahead and use maybe the maa7 or the xr2 and try and get the one bursts uh, because i do believe once you are in a stronger connection it will benefit you guys in the long run and you guys can get tons of kills with those weapons now not only that but the net doomer provides congestion control as well uh, so what you guys can do you can have a look at all the devices connected to that router and what you guys can do from there is set the bandwidth for each different uh, uh, device so for example if I'm playing Xbox or you know playing PlayStation and somebody's on the computer or watching YouTube watching videos or streaming something and what you guys can go ahead and do is set so all of the internet is pretty much for your PlayStation if you have a ton of people around your house you guys can change it up and make sure all the connection is basically dedicated to your console instead of everyone else now by doing so you guys are going to be getting the best connection possible from your internet provider and as you guys can see right here I'm actually moving Moving on to the VPN control and you guys can add a VPN for all of your devices within your house so you can add a VPN for your phone your PlayStation your PC your Xbox whatever you want a VPN on you can guys can enable it but it isn't built in with the net doom you guys are gonna have to pay uh, for an alternate VPN but you guys can set up through the modem which is pretty cool now not only that you guys can actually check uh, you know what bandwidth is actually being used from different devices under the network monitor as well uh, you guys have a ton of options on this router it's unbelievable you guys don't actually have to replace it with your old router like I did I actually set up as a secondary router so on my main route I have my main features and everything like that and on my second one which is the net doomer I have it set up so it's port forward to my PlayStation my PC so I'm matched with the best possible games and the best servers on different games such as CSGO Call of Duty and you guys can name it but hopefully you guys did enjoy this video I know this video hasn't been too long and I haven't uploaded in quite a while uh, but like I did say a like would be greatly appreciated if you guys want to see a giveaway or some type of raffle on this net doom r1 leave a like down below uh, but other than that guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys have a great day and until next time i am out peace